the guy was basically just saying that he has a stick in case they attack us. But if they do attack us, we need to run in zigzag lines or climb a tree. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're Ty and Soph, and today we are heading on a once in a lifetime three day boat trip around the Komodo National Park in Indonesia. Welcome to paradise. It's home to a rare man eating lizard, the Komodo dragon. It was the most unreal experience we've ever had. We would do it all again in a heartbeat. So sit back, enjoy it, and come on this incredible adventure with us. meeting point because we're going to the Komodo Dragon tour today. Three days and two nights on a boat. I'm not looking forward to the seasickness but very much looking forward to the tour. We're going to go to some really nice places and we're going to see the dragons and I've got a guy selling me scars right now. I'm, I'm okay thank you mate sorry. Thanks for my friend. No I'm good, I'm good thanks man thank you anyway. Um, are you excited so? Yes. You gotta chase it, gotta believe it You gotta go get it for yourself Cause I can see So we are on board and we've just been shown to our room So we thought we were going to get a shared cabin But because the boat hasn't actually filled up They put us in a private room So we got a free upgrade Let's go and look. <laughs> oh. It's basic but it's private We've got a double bed, so it's more than what we thought we were getting. So lovely. We're happy. Perfect. We've got aircon. Little bed. Oh, I thought it was a mirror. Let's go to wave. It's not a mirror. That's the view. Lovely. The price of this tour cost us 2.5 million each. Then we had to pay 600,000 each for national park fees. Uh, six, uh, okay, nice. Wild sunset is 
it is the end of day one. We are tucked up in bed in our little cabin. We just had a bit of a rough sea on the way to Padar Island. It's about two hours. Yeah. Uh, the boat was literally rocking like this. They even told us to come into the cabin. So we were like, what's going on? We had drinks spilling everywhere and everything. <laughs> it was a little bit scary at one point, but scary. it's fine now. It's just a little bit rocky and we are ready to go to sleep. Uh, today was, it was good. We saw um, a turtle, we saw some fishes. So the bats fly over. The bats fly over, it was an amazing view. Yeah, That's, the great sky is sunset. just stunning. Yeah, it was so nice. And now we've got a 5am wake up call ready for a hike. Well actually, we will get up at half past four and meet downstairs for five. Yeah. <laughs> Wish us luck. Yeah, we did a hike for sunrise. Komodo dragons tomorrow and yes. pink beach. That'd be good. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Sad to see all that rubbish down there on the, on the beach. I think that they would clean that up. But yeah. Sad to see such a nice place. Sadly, because the tours don't actually go to Black Sand Beach, it looks as though they completely neglect it, whereas the Pink Beach is completely pristine and clean. Next stop on our trip is Pink Beach. clear seas as well.
so we have to briefing now okay well uh, so good, good morning so welcome to Komodo National Park so you are at here Loh Liang so Loh Liang we take it from Komodo language Loh it means bay and Liang it means nest and then now we will go into the to the forest so and the second alternative we have to run but so we don't start to run away so make them like this chitchat because people are faster than people they can run fast 20 kilometers so that's why we have to climb up to the tree and run the chitchat it's the best for us so okay well and my the last my name is Usma and then so later if you have any question you can ask me to talk about it Okay, okay. So the guy was basically just saying that he has a stick in case they attack us, but if they do attack us, we need to run in zigzag lines or climb a tree. So that would be funny. If they, if they can't run in zigzags, <laughs> That's hilarious. We've got to keep a five meter distance from the Komodo dragons at all times. And what was the other thing? Oh yeah, don't separate from the group. So those are the rules basically if you come to Komodo Island. We had only been in Komodo National Park for around 10 minutes before we saw our first dragon, which was absolutely incredible. But there were so many people around him, our group basically said, can we just go find another one? Because this one is obviously going to get stressed with the amount of people around here. In the ticket that we had purchased, you can choose to go on an hour trek or a two hour trek, but we didn't actually go on any trek. After seeing that first dragon, our trainer said, that's it, that's the only dragon you're going to see today. But we paid for the hour long trek we asked him if we could walk around for a little bit just to potentially see a dragon and he got annoyed but he did walk us around for like 10-15 minutes and then we come out to where we started and we saw another little baby one on the beach but that's all we saw it was kind of strange we're not entirely sure whether it was set up whether they have the dragons there waiting for you but then it could be potentially that it's just such a big island and they know what dragons are coming into the area for tourists to see
So we've just stopped off on this little island and it's like the Maldives, I'm not even joking, look at this. Oh. Right. Look at that. That is unreal. It's literally like being in the Maldives. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> this is basically the Maldives in Indonesia. It's now getting super serious, we're having teams and all sorts, it's kicking off, so I'm just getting ready for it. <laughs> snorkeling and we're going to an island and we're going to relax on the beach I think. The itinerary's not really been that clear has it? Uh, we're not really too sure what <laughs> we're actually doing today. Um, we were supposed to go back to Labuan Baja at 9. Um, they told us that yesterday which we were all a bit disappointed with because it's supposed to be three days and that's yeah. not really three days. No. On the first um, day we started at like half twelve one yeah. and then yesterday was a really packed in day. We started at like five and finished at like Six. Yeah. Today we were meant to get up at six again and then be dropped back by nine. And we was all a bit like, can we not like go back a bit a little bit later, like twelve maybe? Because obviously we didn't want to get up super early as well because we got up really early yesterday and stuff. And everyone was a bit like, nah. Let's they just... wanted us to get up at like five to go snorkeling. Like it's really early to snorkel. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the itinerary could, probably could have been better with like yesterday spread out more over the three days. Yeah. Um, so we could have spent longer at things yesterday. But oh, we didn't get to see the manta rays yesterday, which is quite disappointing. Yeah. Or um, turtle. I did actually, we did see one turtle. We saw one turtle on the first day. Um, other than that, it's been good. Really good, to be fair. Nothing wrong with the boat. Like a nice boat, a bit rocky sometimes. <coughs> but other than that, all good. We 100% recommend adding this place to your bucket list. Some of the places we went to were just out of this world. We had the most amazing time.
thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you're going to go to Komodo Islands, let us know in the comments. In our next video, we rent a moped and we go off the beaten track on an island called Flores in Indonesia. It's completely off the beaten track. It's a rural island. It's going to be insane. So if you like the sound of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow our journey with us through Indonesia. See you next time. Bye. This place is a really cool little find. It's called Rango Cave. Rango Cave, yeah. There are lots of tours coming here, but you can actually do it yourself if you rent a motorbike. Obviously, if you can't rent a motorbike, then just get a motorbike taxi, such as Grab or Gojek. So you have to basically